Growth has actually settled down and firmed a bit in, uh, in recent months. And uh, one of the best ways of seeing that is looking at uh, copper prices or a stock price like Freeport and McMoran that, uh, you know, there was a, people were, were very worried about growth for a time, but it stabilized some. They're also shifting from exports over to domestic consumption as a growth driver. And uh, so I think that's not the, the, that's not the problem that's on their mind uh, right now. Uh, uh, but, uh, you know, growth this year looks like seven. We, I, I look at every single day the headlines in the Chinese newspapers, and they tend to be really horrible when it comes to the real estate sector. Um, what's your sense of the real estate sector, and should we in the United States be worried about the Chinese real estate sector? sector? Well, real estate in China has huge swings, of course, uh, uh, because the, uh, so much of uh, policy in the last uh, financial crisis worked through building infrastructure and real estate projects. Uh, but uh, the, the, the thing that makes it less dangerous than it could be here or other places is that most property in China is bought without mortgages uh, and with, or with very large down payments. There's very little speculative housing other than the builders themselves. So we see prices going up and down, uh, and uh, right now prices are softening. Uh, but, you know, China's got 2.5% uh, inflation rate, so softening prices aren't all that bad. I don't think that uh, a collapse of growth is, this, is the big story there. Uh, th they have a lot of problems. The problems include things like pollution and corruption at the local level and, and things that the new government there is working very hard to get their arms uh, around. I'll be there in about a month for some meetings before the G20 meeting. Okay. Uh, but uh, but uh, uh, it's, it's those things and the... Uh, the East China Sea issues uh, with Japan, sure. uh, with the Philippines are important.